All right, so today we're taking a look at a really great site called KidBlog. Now, KidBlog is a site designed for teachers to make blogs for their students, and students as young as elementary and middle school aged. It's a really great site, super simple to set up, and I'm going to take you through it right now. So we're going to go over here and say go for it, and fill out a little bit of information about yourself. So I'm just going to fill this out. I'm going to say my username is going to be Mr. Bello. My password is going to be whatever, and email. And I'm going to make class name Mr. Bellows class. Give it its little uh, verification code over here. And voila, create a class. So now you can see I just created my own class. Very, very simple to set up. Let me take you through some of the options that are really great. So you can create a new class. You can view all your classes. You can see how many posts have been published how many comments are on that post, and over here, a really nice step of keeping the blog clean and safe for kids is the fact that you can choose whether or not you have to approve each of the comments. You have 100 megabytes free in terms of its free storage, which is a really quite a generous amount, and uh, we're going to start off really simply going over here to write a new post. So you have your very basic HTML editor over here. Notice you could have um, pictures and videos and music files as well added into the po post. So I'm going to say over here, test post. And I'm going to write something over here. I'm going to say, uh, trying out the great site. Notice, of course, I can change the font sizes. I can change the font colors and the font family as well. So there's a nice amount of font choices in addition to uh, being able to, to edit the text. So really, really simple. You can also, if you feel like it, do some HTML editing. But, you know, in order to keep it simple, we're just going to do basics right now. I can go over here and save it as a draft, or I can preview it, and I can also publish it. So I'm going to say publish. Here's my very basic setting. Now they do let you customize the way it looks, but I happen to like this very simple, very classic looking uh, blog post. I see over here the posts. I can see over here how many comments have been made. I can edit the post right from here, log myself out, and of course, let me show you actually if I log out what it would look like. So I'm going to select my name put in my password and I want to actually see what the page is going to look like so I'm going to go and preview it over here go to class blogs test post there we go leave a comment so if a kid logged in you would see your students name over here and they can click over here and they can leave it whatever comments they want love this site and I can put that comment in now I get this comment over here and I could choose to edit it unapprove or delete it. It's approved automatically because it's posted under my name. However, you would have to approve it if it was a student's post. Now, going back to the control panel, let's take a look. We can review posts. So I can say over here that this test post, mm, you know what, I don't really approve of that. I'm going to unapprove it. And I can see exactly when that would happen and all the different steps I could take over there. In addition, I can come over here to comments and see who wrote the comment. I can trash it. I can approve it and all sorts of other things. Users, now this is the really neat part. I can actually choose to add people to this group. So I can add people to this class using a CSV file, which is really, really helpful. Or I can actually click on it and use um, adding existing users over here, just putting in their names, which is very, very simple to do. And if you choose in settings over here, you can take a look. As I said, you can change their theme. So you have blue and you have this little khaki colored, but uh, I like the blue. And over here, you can also edit the time zone. Choose over here who can read your posts. Now, that's really important because obviously, you know, you want to make sure that your class has access to it, but do you want to have it being outward facing? Should teachers only be able to do it? And this one's really important. Teacher must approve all posts before they appear. That's a really great way to keep everyone safe and, and in a nice uh, standard, standard blog safe environment. But one thing I'll say about that, if you do choose to post approval, that you need to actually approve each of the posts, make sure you're checking the blog with some consistency because the whole idea of instant communication, such as a blog with commenting, is the fact that you'll actually be able to get on there and comment and the students will be able to uh, see their comments as quick as possible. So maybe check once a day or more if possible. Comments over here, who may leave comments for the students' posts? Now that's important too. You can have anyone leave a post, but mm, I'm not really a big fan of that because again, sometimes people are cruel and silly and leave things that could be inappropriate. 
You also can have it being class members that are logged in and people that are logged in as guests. But really, the safest thing is really class members only. Um, teacher must approve comments before they appear. That's the generic standard, and I think that that really works well. You can also assign people's roles. There are teacher roles and moderator roles that you can assign additional people to be those, uh, as I said, those roles that can edit and approve different posts. So Kid, uh, Kid Blog is really a very, very full-featured, really, really great way to do blogging in a classroom. And um, I definitely think you should check it out. It is free and it is really easy to use. Kidblog.org. Till next time, enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.